I've drawn and painted since I was a very, very small child. So it's always just been a natural thing that I do. When I was at school, I was always top of the class for art. Wasn't any good uh, maths, mind you, but there we go. I joined the Merchant Navy. I was on ocean liners. And um, then when I left the liners, believe it or not, I actually went on fishing trawlers up around the North Cape and Russia and so on. So my maritime theme for most of my paintings comes from those early days. I've always been on boats and yachts. I've got a yacht myself at the moment, I sail, and uh, really enjoy it. And a lot of my inspiration comes from being at sea. My paintings are done either in acrylics, that's on, acrylics on canvas, or on, uh, on paper or my charts, which sell very, very well. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> that's um, using gouache. Um, this one I made, gosh, back in the 70s, I think. Quite an older one, that one. And I was in graphic design for at least 15 years. I did quite a bit of work for Lonsdale Boxing. This one here, yeah, that's um, a scratch model. All I had from that was a plan. The gallows, which are these here, uh, which are used for the, putting the trawl. It's a trawler. <clears throat> Uh, they're made, made from model railway lines. The derricks here, that's a number 10 knitting needle there. So it's all made from bits and pieces. I just love being out on the sea. That's what really gets me going. You get out there, you forget everything else, and that's, that's how it is. I do occasionally do flowers. This is when my wife says, I'm fed up with your boats. Do me some flowers. But I'm not really an abstract artist, so I'm very meticulous in what I do. So it's small work. That's the sort of thing that gets me going, the detail. Interesting, interesting bits and pieces. This one here at the moment, down here, is not complete yet. That's taken me two years to build, and it's very, very intricate. In fact, it sends me potty quite often doing the rigging, but it's, it's getting there, it's almost complete. It just stops me going down the pub and chasing ladies, actually. <laughs> well, so my wife tells me anyway. <laughs> With the mules at Port Whitley, of course, I'd forgotten about those, telling me about those. Um, they're usually sort of um, First World War battlefields. We're at Fort Whitley up on Portsdown Hill. This is the home of the Pompey Parish Charity. And they set up a museum here and uh, help other, pe uh, other service people and we research uh, the Hampshire regiments. And whilst I'm here helping them out, the First World War Trench, uh, no man's land, it's pretty grim, but uh, that's probably how it was, I'm sure. It was all painted, by the way, with emulsion paint. Nothing else, nothing fancy. And this is um, a Vickers uh, machine gun uh, used in the First World War, 1917, so it's the genuine article. In fact, I've just been to see the 1917 film and it certainly brings it home what it was like. Pretty awful. Yeah. Yes. yes. We have a lot to thank our grandparents and our fathers for. Well, Hailing Island, I used to come here when I was a youngster into the sand dunes and go swimming and uh, have days over here on, on, on the beach. That used to sort of be a lovely place to come to and it was so different from Portsmouth and South Sea where I was brought up. Um, completely rural, rural almost. Uh, a lovely sort of atmosphere to it. It's good for my art and of course I can keep my boat just down the road. Uh, so it's good for the sailing. I've got the lovely backdrop of, of Chichester Harbour uh, there. It's a really lovely place to be. I really, really enjoy living here. Thank you.